Welcome back to Bosnia, a country in the Balkans, in between Serbia and Croatia. I've uh, been in this country in uh, the beginning of 2021, together with Shai, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Rode some trains, traveled across the country. I always knew I would come back sometime, because I found it a very interesting country. But recently, I discovered a fact which made me want to come back even more. So apparently, they still use wartime steam locomotives right here in this yard. And they don't use it as a tourist attraction. They're actually still in commercial use right here, hauling coal wagons from the mine right there all the way to a power plant somewhere in Tuzla. So these Krieg locks, that's how they're called. Krieg is war in German. These locks were built under Nazi Germany in the Second World War. And the interesting thing is that they were only built to last around 10 years. But after 80 years, they're still driving around here. A lot of these locomotives were uh, built by forced labor during the Second World War. You had some German locomotive firms which used prisoners from Auschwitz and other concentration camps to uh, build these Kriegs locks. When the war was over, Yugoslavia inherited these locks and for a while they drove around the nation. That was until the 90s when Yugoslavia fell apart. Now, the only place in the world where you still find these uh, Kriegs locks, apart from some museum tracks, is this place right here in Bosnia. And our plan is to ride these before they disappear forever. By the way, I'm joined by Acton. These Kriegslogs, these exact same trains were also used to pull uh, the train of Hitler in the Second World War. And now they're still out here in 2022 pulling cargo wagons somewhere in a mine in Bosnia. So interesting. So the wagons are moving, but there is no locomotive attached. Maybe just one very strong Bosnian guy pushing these wagons. By the way, there are workers right here, so they will see us. Um, yeah. Bravo. Dobro. Look at this. Yeah, he's going forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here's the cable. Yeah, the cable system. So this is how the wings are moved. Wow. Oh, dobro, dobro. Voila, bam. Yeah, here they're getting filled up. Here it is. The Kriegslok. 80 years old. Built in the Second World War and still in operation. You can smell the locomotive. It's beautiful. All right, so that was a security guard, apparently the security right here. He said, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. And then we said, the worker said we could go here. And coincidentally, the worker just walked past and he was like, yeah, yeah, I said it. And he was like, okay, take a few pictures. Um, but we were talking to him a bit and now he's like, come on, go guys, go.
so we're looking for a sleeping spot as you can see right here there's the conveyor belt that means we're on the property of the mine as we noticed there are a lot of security guards walking around and protecting these things man look at this uh, ladder so uh, these conveyor belts right here they go for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers so it would be so sick to actually ride these conveyor belts all around uh, the property the more i look at this network the more i'm fascinated by it i'm measuring the distance now it's so long so this part is 6.4 kilometers there are these uh, distribution stations if we ride on the conveyor belt that would definitely be an issue because uh, we probably die there that's the thing this is more dangerous than train hopping we see it as a side quest you know like mm, let's ride the belt but these things go pretty fast and uh, yeah it's just not that safe so now there is actually a worker or a security guard walking on the belt coming towards us i don't know if he saw us or what right so we just saw the light and now he just vanished into thin air all right we decided to leave that place because the guy just i don't know i think it's like crawling on the conveyor belt right now you know sneaking up to us Ooh. Oh. these apples are really good they're small and green so you th would think they're sour but they're actually really sweet just ate one i'm gonna keep this one for breakfast i'm just gonna check this out over here ah oh, there is a creek yeah look at this thing Ah, oh, it's a leech, right? I don't remember the name in English. Yeah, just for the experiment, kind of wanted to see how it bites, but maybe it carries diseases and stuff. I don't know if it's the smartest thing to do. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's like Surely not something. Smarts, but kind of feel like, you know, jackass style. Yeah, it's some funny. kind of a water bug. Yeah, I don't remember the name of this. It's very good, good uh, camouflage. Yeah. You have so many of these things living in the water. It's a... Uh, snail and next to it i don't know what it is look 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 it's oh, grabbing it yeah it's dinner time it looks like it's getting ready to attack and over here oh there is another one there i don't know what they're doing well seems like he gets another day to live and of course he also have a lot of frogs he was waving at the camera, you saw it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, YouTube. Hey, mom. No, he's posing. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave him be. This is a pretty nice forest, especially for uh, hammocks. But none of us have a hammock with us. I have my tent and uh, Acton has a tarp. There's some big uh, mushrooms. Whoa, looks like a little loaf of bread. Don't you wanna give it a little <laughs> bite? A lot of people always ask in the comments what do I eat on these strips and Honestly, I don't know myself, man. <laughs> um, yeah, we have some... Uh... <sighs> right, so I studied my meal a bit and uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure what it is. So we have some octopus rings over here. Then we have chicken. Over here we have some uh, bell peppers. Over here we have these um, potato wedges, like, you know, potato thingies. <laughs> and then at the bottom we have some mac and cheese. <laughs> this is a great Bosnian dish. It's actually, it's actually a local dish. It's pretty popular. It tastes good, you know. It looks like I can just add this and it wouldn't be weird, you know. But it tastes pretty good. <laughs> This is uh, where I'm gonna be sleeping, set up my tent right here. And then Acton, he made like a tarp setup. So he's sleeping right there. In the distance, we also hear the steam locomotives chanting and uh, the whistle, which is really nice to hear actually. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow.
it's uh, eight in the morning. You can hear the call to prayer from various sides. And not only do I hear the call to prayer, I also hear a train horn. But fortunately, it's not a steam train horn. It's not a whistle. It sounds more like a diesel train horn. And that might actually uh, confirm a fact uh, which I was thinking about yesterday. You know, in yards, you have, whoa, man, there are so many uh, spider webs all around. It's uh, the beginning of fall. Look also over here. As I was saying, you know, in yards, you always have diesel locks who do the shunting and don't uh, leave the yard. They wait for electric locomotives to come and pull the wagons. Well, I was yesterday thinking this could actually be the same, that they use these steam locomotives as shunting locks, and when a train is ready, they come with a diesel train to pull the string of coal cars all the way to the factory. We're uh, gonna pack up, eat something, and then... Yeah, that ain't no steam train horn. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go to the yard, check it out. So those beautiful creek lots in the yard are actually not the only traces of war in this area. A lot of these forests are still littered with landmines from the Bosnian war. We're pretty close to the border of the Serb Republic and they actually mine the shit out of the borders of the republics. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, spots, mountains, forests, where there are still a lot of landmines. So we need to watch out when we walk in forests that we don't lose a leg or two or maybe our life. The danger zones are indicated with signs and uh, online you can also find some maps. The chance is pretty small that something happens. Apart from landmines, you can also see shadow buildings, uh, shelled buildings in uh, some places. The traces of war are still uh, visible here. Yeah, this place is really submerged in history. Ah, the sun. Look at this building. Especially at the top, it's uh, filled with bullet holes. And uh, also, you see damage from shrapnel, from grenades, so... There was also some fighting over here. Okay, well, he said like Gore, which means like mountains. Ah. He thinks we're gonna walk in the mountains. <laughs> it's really funny because in Montenegro, when uh, I got off the train in the middle of nowhere because I wanted to switch to the freight train, the conductor was like, ah! and I was like, Gore, Gore, and he was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying my drone, I'm still flying my drone, and uh, a diesel locomotive just pulled in with empty wagons. I was just filming the um, steam locomotive, which was pulling us right here. Uh, I, I wanted a nice shot, but it's like stopping the entire time and my battery's dead, because I'm pretty far out now. Suddenly a lot of things going on. We wanted to ride the steam train. We also want to ride this train to the city, you know, so we can continue. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, we actually want to right uh, freight all the way to the Adriatic Sea so yeah <laughs> that's uh, quite a journey all right so we decided to actually take the train leaving from this yard since the steam trains are not leaving this yard I'm uh, very very glad we saw them actually in action pulling freight wagons still working like it did 80 years ago so that's actually where I came for so yeah now we're gonna try to get on this train right in front of us and ride it to Tuzla. I just hope it stops before it goes into the power plant, otherwise we're fucked, but I think, I think it will be fine. There are guys in the lock watching the train now, so we can't cross now. Maybe we need to hop on when it's departing, but then again, there's gonna be people outside. <laughs> okay. Oof. Okay. 
Ja, yeah, it's good. This is uh, lake night, by the way. It's like the worst type of call. Yeah, boy. Yes. Let's go. The shade was almost running out. It's just in time. <laughs> Hopefully nobody on the bridge. Okay, it seems good. The conveyor belt is working now. These wagons are really rusted and old. Look at the doors. There is just a crack in the doors. There is coal sliding out of there. Oh, this is great. Another very small branch line, diesel locomotive. Beautiful Bosnian village. It's really chill. Chill ride. <laughs> nice. It shows it's very bumpy, you know. Whoa, look at this shit. Don't step on the buffers. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, this. Like these wagons, look at that! These wagons are really dangerous. Yeah, no, me neither, me neither. Good thing I was holding on very well. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, lovely. These wagons are way smaller than uh, regular wagons over here in this country. They don't go that far, you know. Oh, I can taste the lignite in my mouth. There you can see the power plant, we're closing into it, so when it's slowing down, we are going to try to hop off, because uh, you really don't want to get caught inside the territory. Uh. Yeah, I think it's time to go. You ready? You fine? I yeah, so he's already inside. Yeah, we're good. Let's go to the side. Yeah, yeah. Woo -hoo. Oh, and it's pulling into territory right now. Let's get just in time. Just in time. Yeah, man. All right. That was a really chill ride. We're uh, not in Tuzla, not in the city, but over there is a power plant and uh, we don't have to be in Tuzla. We want to go to Dubai. It's a better yard. And for that, we're going to hitchhike next to the road and hopefully somebody takes us.
All right, those uh, very kind people dropped us off at the bus station one time further. Beautiful Bosnian flag. We're not gonna see uh, that anymore when we go to the Serbian Federation. We will still be in Bosnia, so still under that flag, but people don't wave that flag, you know. They don't really want to be part of the country. Anyway, right now we're in Lukavac and uh, we have a bus in half an hour. We bought a ticket for about four euros, I think, so it's really cheap. Still have some old school nice vehicles over here. So almost all emergency service vehicles and also a lot of buses were donated by the European Union and you can also see it right here. It says Werkfeuerwehr Bosch Schwieberinge. It came from somewhere in Germany. They didn't use it so they sent it to Bosnia. Ambulances, fire trucks, buses, train wagons. They almost all have like German emblems, labels, destinations. Like a lot of these buses, they still have the digital destination. It says like Baden Wuppertin or something and then under it they just printed out the A4 with like the actual destination of the bus. And over here we have a playground. Reminds me of a Soviet playground. Well, Yugoslavia was communist, so maybe that's why. <laughs> he's cute. He's cute and he's five oh. liters. Wow, that's <laughs> a very uh, wide dog. There you go. Five liters. It's gone. Nice, the best kind. <laughs> best model. <laughs> Brate, do Virginia. Ciao, ciao. Look, the pole was broken and the cables were sticking out, so the community fixed it with some uh, good open bottles and some <laughs> tape. That's how they fix things in the Balkans. guys we made it to the boy some uh, good memories right here gonna eat something now go to the supermarket and uh, go to the yard such a calm evening here in Dubai it's a nice city not big not small and yeah right now we're in Republika Srpska the Serbian Republic apart from the flags and different police cars you can see some differences here and there, but for the rest, the country still looks the same. But more is in Cyrillic, that's the thing, like uh, the Bosnian Republic also has a lot of Latin, but over here it's Cyrillic. What's remarkable is this uh, advertisement against uh, gun violence, uh, sponsored by uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands, Sweden, the European Union, Norway, UK, like these countries just pay for advertisements against gun violence here in the Serbian Republic. We made it to the station, to the yard. There are some wagons. Some people oh, chilling there. Lock. And oh. a locomotive. Send out diesel. Yeah, a diesel lock and an electric lock. People would be so mad if you walk like that on the tracks or <laughs> anywhere else. I know, I know. They would scream and say you're crazy and call the police yeah, right. i think this guy's just getting in on yeah yeah you see no. yeah 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 We've been uh, waiting here for a couple hours. So far, no lock pulled in. There are still some strings of wagons right there, but nowhere a Bosnian locomotive to be seen. So we're pretty tired. We decided to get some rest. We're sleeping right here on a tarp, right uh, next to the tracks. 
we will hear when the train comes in wake up and then we will move to the front of the station and get inside the wagon As you can hear, we're out of here. We caught a train, yeah, let's go. It's, uh, it was a good action. We snuck across all the trains, there were some active trains. It was, uh, yeah, very glad we got it. Now we're going in the direction of Sarajevo. As you can see, we're really close to the locomotive. That's because uh, towards the end of the train, there was a security guard watching the train from the platform, so we couldn't climb there. Uh, so we had to climb here, but we're gonna see when it stops and we're probably gonna move to uh, a wagon more at the rear of the train.
factory territory and uh, so far our train hasn't stopped. So yeah, <coughs> let's see what happens. As you can see, we are off the train. Luckily it slowed down right before it took the split to the factory territory. So that gave us a chance to uh, hop off. We timed it right. I'm very happy we didn't end up in the factory territory because that's so much stress. Man, this ride was so amazing. It was so mystical. The clouds, the, the fog. At some points, you were just completely in the clouds and you only just saw white around you and the, the, the light of the locomotive just lighting up the, the clouds in front of us. It was uh, very nice. Even though I already did it once, it still was a different feeling. No, we're gonna look for a spot to sleep. Gotta keep walking and eventually we'll find something. So we were following this path a bit up the mountain and suddenly we see this sign, a very Bosnian sign, because uh, it's full of bullet holes. <laughs> it says Luviste pod video, not Sorum. Um, I don't know what it means, maybe like video surveillance, but then you have all the bullet holes inside. <laughs> I don't know if we should continue, but we are gonna continue. <laughs> Okay guys, we found a spot, eventually, over here, there's a nice creek and a, a random tire. And over here we have our setup. Acton has a tarp. You want to show us your uh, house? Welcome to my home. Please have a look. Be my guests. Like, uh, especially pretty wide inside. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not I mean, bad. I'm still finishing the kitchen, but uh, plasma TV is on its way. I think it's like half past three right now, something like that. Yes, exactly, half past three. Okay, there we go. And uh, yeah, so it's time to go to sleep. Good morning. I slept pretty great, apart from the fact that I was at an angle, so I was sliding down a bit. Now we're gonna wash up a bit in this creek and uh, I have some breakfast. Banana, some almond nuts, and some kind of a fruit snack. All right, we packed up, and now we decided to climb this mountain. We know there is a trail leading all the way to the top, so uh, yeah. It's gonna be nice. Hope this is drinkable, but uh, well, I guess otherwise it wouldn't come from pipes and be in this thing. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. There's really nice vegetation here. You have these very big leaves and over here you have like a waterfall of... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you call this plant in English, um, but yeah, I see it. This is so Balkans. A table, some chairs, a bucket to sit on, a little fireplace, a little improvised shelter. Oh. Nice! The trail kind of ended at that spot right there with the table and the chairs. So now we have to just follow this river for uh, one kilometer or so up the mountain. And then we might actually encounter some new paths, which will take us to the viewpoint we want to go. And after that, to the city of Zenica. <laughs> for a small waterfall. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, all right, this is quite hard, not so pleasant anymore. But uh, we're getting there. 
Man, this is way harder than I expected. I didn't go in the fact that we're not in Switzerland or France where the routes are like perfectly indicated. We're in a non-touristic industrial city in the Balkans, in Bosnia. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> what did I expect? We finally have a little view. Well, a little view, it's quite amazing. We're high, much higher than I expected. But we also climbed for three hours straight. Okay, time for dinner. I uh, got this Mexican tuna, Acton recommended it to me. Yeah, buenos dias, uh, soy tuna. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm very curious. So let's see what the tuna looks like. <laughs> this ain't no tuna. <laughs> All right, let's uh, give it a try. Let's see how the tuna tastes. Mmm, tastes like beans. All right, we ate. The can was all right. Um, I did find some tuna at the end, luckily. <laughs> Two chunks of tuna at the bottom. It's still a really, really long way. I hope we get there before dark. Let's see. So right there is the village. But it's like two times nothing, you know. It's like just a couple of houses. And then there is a road all the way to the edge of the city. And over here is Senato. So yeah, we're fucked. No, no, <laughs> it's okay. city and also on the factory where we almost ended up in yesterday it's uh, from ArcelorMittal a big steel giant also a lot of uh, stuff in Belgium yeah true 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 they all chose for cheap labor abroad there were some uh, independent researchers who like uh, researched the uh, pollution of the factory and they said it was really really harmful for the citizens of Senetsa and especially for the people living around the factory. We are down in the valley and uh, it all stays in the valley mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all the toxicity is still there and this whole region from here to Tuzla is like full of different kind of factories that made it the most polluted region in the, in the full Europe. Oh really yeah. it is? Oh, I didn't even know that. But uh, yeah, doesn't uh, even surprise me. Beautiful nature. Let the people respect it over here. It's like a trash waterfall all the way down there. It smells horrible. Yes, over there is the village. First proper sign of civilization. The sun is behind the mountains. We've been walking for an entire day. All right, so um, we were actually uh, approaching the village and suddenly uh, Bosnian man just appeared out of nowhere, said hello, and uh, we started talking, and then he was like, you need a ride, so we were like, yeah, sure, so yeah, now he's gonna give us a ride to town for like, five euro per person. Tim, look at this uh, garage. In summer, this car must be burning. Wow. Cool cars over here also. Polizia Zenica? Da. Ah. Polizia Zenica, dobro? Dobro. Dobro. Yeah. 
also the guy that drove this up said he was police <laughs> and then he gets pulled over by police because he wasn't wearing his seatbelt I wasn't wearing my seatbelt but they didn't care about that maybe you only needed to wear it in the front <laughs> they also just calmly said like yo please put your seatbelt on it's like okay and he put it on and then immediately put it off <laughs> it's so funny so there are two strings of wagons stationary here filled with coal but I think uh, they are meant to go to uh, the factory of Zenitsa so they won't go very far hey, hey. <laughs> have a good ride <laughs> nice try. cool train they also use the same models in Croatia Okay, so we actually booked the hotel for the night. Hotels are cheap here anyway, so uh, we have a bed, a shower, and uh, I can also charge all my things. It's quite late already now because we were chatting with a, a guard uh, from the American embassy who was standing outside and he spoke very well English. It was a Bosnian guard guarding the American embassy, but he was a really fun guy. Now we're gonna uh, take a tram to the Stari Grad, the old town. And yeah, there we're gonna go to the hotel and I'm probably just gonna fall asleep because I'm very, very tired. All right, we managed to get on a nice roof on the edge of the city. Even up here, uh, you can also see patched bullet holes. There was urban warfare everywhere. I'm uh, talking a lot about the war, but um, a lot of people probably don't really know about the Bosnian war. It's uh, a very, very convoluted war, so it's, it's, it's hard to explain it. So countries like Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, Serbia, they were all part of Yugoslavia. They were one nation, but in the 90s, Yugoslavia started falling apart. Slovenia got independent, Croatia got independent, and a part of Bosnia also wanted to get independent. But on the other half of Bosnia, there were Serbians living, and they didn't want to get independent. So not only were these two parts ethnically different, they were also different in the religion, yet the Islam Bosnian part and the Orthodox Catholic Serbian part. So yeah the two sides just started attacking each other and it was a horrible war uh, filled with atrocities the bosnian serbs they uh, committed genocide and uh, the worst example of it was uh, Srebrenica. about 2000 young men and uh, boys got killed just for their religion or ethnicity and the fighting just continued and continued until uh, NATO and Europe intervened and they said listen this needs to stop and then the war finally ended with the Dayton agreement the Dayton agreement uh, divided the country in two parts you had the Serb Republic and the Bosnian Federation which still exists to this day also the Bosnian flag you see right now the flag you see everywhere is also a flag enforced by uh, Europe they said listen this is your flag from now on the yellow and the blue stands for the two republics and then the stars represent europe but uh, yeah so the war actually came to a forced stop by the west and the tensions in this country are long far from gone 
Especially now with the war going on in Ukraine, this country got more and more divided because Serbia is more on the side of Russia and uh, the Bosnian part is more on the side of Europe. When I was in the Serb Republic, I uh, heard a lot of people talking about the Bosnian Republic and their thoughts on it and they still thought very negative about it and they wanted to be independent from this part. I just hope the bullet holes and the landmines are the last traces of war this country will ever see and that from now on it will be peaceful and even though they maybe will not happily live together because, well, the mindsets are still there. I just hope they can at least live in peace, like now, and they just continue to live in peace. Over here we can still see the old sign, Sarajevo, of the World Olympics in 84. And of course it's uh, also shot up. So, uh, Biljecnica, that's uh, where I went last time on my uh, last Bosnia journey. Over there is the abandoned bobsled track. And uh, it's a pre pretty beautiful mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there most. This is how Bosnian reclining seats work. Well, uh, <laughs> ciao. It always tastes better when I give it to you, huh? I remember this place. <laughs> Waited under this bridge for a really long time. Hopefully it won't come to that again. So the first one is empty, second one is full. And over here we have, wait, wait, this seems to be... Is it scrap? Oh no, okay, it's just... Uh, very bad condition. Yeah, just in very bad condition. So yeah, I think uh, the one on the right side might leave the first, which would be nice because it's pretty close to the abandoned wagons. Right, we're gonna wait in this abandoned boxcar. It's a really good spot to wait because it's still clean. And look at the view we have. It's amazing. This was horrible, believe me, what the fuck? So let me explain. We were waiting for this train to depart and then suddenly a dog came to us. Some kind of a guard dog. And uh, yeah, there's the city. 
and the dog started barking like really hard and behind the dog was a worker like a bit further the worker was shining and said so we crossed to the other side of the wagons and then suddenly he comes to the other side of the wagons we were sitting in abandoned wagons so we had no business there and so we hop out to the other side but it was all like pretty chaotic so maybe he saw us maybe he didn't and we climb into the wagon and the worker walked fast and then walked fast again and then I heard like sounds and then the dog came again he stood at our wagon he started barking and I was like dude what the fuck we're gonna get spotted it was so weird the train was like not departing at all we're finally out of here on a nice empty well nice we'll see because this can get really dusty but on an empty cold train going to the towards the sea so because the wagons is empty and the walls are quite high um, I snuck this uh, piece of wood in so I can stand on it and look outside We are two-thirds of the way to Mostar, we made some really good progress, but now we stopped somewhere in a little town. These are all empty wagons, so they don't have really high priority, so there might be a possibility that um, the locomotive coupled off. So we're gonna check that out now, we're gonna head to the road up here and uh, walk all the way to the front. This run is very, very long. Yeah, we stopped in a very small uh, Bosnian town somewhere in the low Dinaric Alps. And now on our way to check if the log is still here. So far it's uh, been an amazing ride. Wow, it was really special. It was full moon, we saw everything, the mountains, the trees. Yeah, it was great. We checked it out and all the way to the front and our locomotive is actually still there. As you can hear, we are moving. We climbed back inside the wagon right on time. We stopped here to let the train pass. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to Mostar now. <laughs>
long left, long trains. Alright. We made it guys, we made it. To Mostach with a little break in a random village. What a ride. The last stretch was also really amazing. We were driving through the Neretvar Canyon. Also some pretty nice mountains left and right. The reflection of the lights in the water. The dams and the ship locks everywhere. The train also went pretty damn fast. It's uh, a lot warmer right here. And it also smells different. There is different vegetation here. It smells more like Adriatic Sea. So uh, yeah, you, you really feel you're in a different, sort of a different climate. But uh, yeah, over here you can also still see uh, traces of the world. Oh nice, we look like coal miners. Okay, now let's wash these hands and my face. Oh, yeah, bro. Floor is also washed. So we're in the center and there's just no one around. Like we saw two people and that was half an hour ago two russian girls making pictures on the bridge in front of the station not even the right bridge yeah it was the wrong bridge but they probably <laughs> didn't know they just thought it was the bridge you know we are going to the real bridge now the very famous wall with this pebble or sunny very famous stary most which means old bridge really beautiful on the stary most right now the old bridge and uh yeah there's literally nobody around it's a ghost town so we finally found a place, the last place open in town, uh, and now we're gonna eat our food. He's been traveling with us, so... Yeah. <laughs> Fresh delivery from Sarajevo. <laughs> the, 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 the serviette, the napkin <laughs> and the no bread became one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is actually still pretty, pretty good. We uh, made this today in the hotel, because we had a hotel with breakfast, so we of course took advantage of it, made some sandwiches. And uh, yeah, that tastes still amazing. Okay, we're uh, looking for a sleeping spot now. Well, uh, actually, Acton is guarding the building. I'm staying with the bags. This is a Marriott hotel. We need to find an entrance. There were some doors, but people built a brick wall behind it, which probably means that the construction is on hold. So once you find a way in, I think we're pretty safe. The second option is uh, that mountain over there. But it's gonna be pretty hard to find uh, a flat spot. Okay, so uh, the Marriott Hotel didn't work out. Uh, Exxon got uh, sent away by the police. <laughs> Goodbye. Plan B, the mountain. Ooh, man, if this bush wasn't here... There would be just the best spot. For real. Maybe Where behind it? it. Ooh, pomegranates. Look. Pomegranates. Yeah, that's new. We ended up finding a spot in between the trips. I found a little piece of flat land right here. With a really nice view though. Acton is sleeping. Oh shit. No way. Oh, stop looking. Stop looking. No, I, no, I have to blur your entire body, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Blur it all. Blur it all. <laughs> I need to see where I step because I already hurt myself here. These uh, things have thorns. Look. You think they're like nice plants, but nah, man. They're devious. All right, see y'all in the morning. Good morning. What a view to wake up to. I didn't sleep that well though. I woke up around nine because the sun was uh, shining on me. It was really hot. Slept for four hours or something. So yeah, we're gonna go down and probably take a dive in the river, in the Neretva River. It's the coldest river on earth, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. Wow, that sounds uh, less exciting, <laughs> but more is challenging. So, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's nice. Man. Yeah, so we didn't really follow the trail or something, but here we just climbed straight up because there wasn't a trail. And now we have to go down. It's uh, painful. All these plants are spiky. Here we are at the river, and there's a guy up there, which is just standing there in his swimming trunk. So maybe he's like collecting money, and then when he has enough, he jumps. I read in line there was some kind of a thing here. Hey. 
coldest river on earth. Let's give it a try. All right, yeah, that's ice cold. This entire river is full of plastic everywhere. It's uh, horrible to see. Such a beautiful, nice river, and then they just pollute it like this. But yeah, I didn't expect anything else, I must say. Yeah, it's not so hot, but it feels good. <laughs> Coldest river on earth, guys. Okay, time to eat something. This place is uh, pretty wonderful. Oh, this looks like a very traditional restaurant. All right, some nice food and a nice view. Kids sleep the entire day already. Kids at that age, they don't sleep, they play around and shit. But that's not sad, you know, people won't give money, so they often drug them and put them to sleep. It's, it's horrible to see. Okay, back at the tracks. We're gonna wait a bit uh, for a freight train. We wanna hop to the last city in Bosnia, Chopiana. It's only a half an hour ride. We're not sure if uh, one is gonna come since we're gonna only be waiting for two hours or so. After that, there is a passenger train, the Montalgo train that we saw in Sarajevo, which is also driving there. So we're gonna wait a bit and if nothing shows up, then we're gonna walk a bit further to the passenger station and take that train to Chapiana. And from there, we'll see where we go. We just wanna get to the coast, maybe to Dubrovnik, maybe to Split, maybe to Ploče. We have no idea. in the train and uh, after three minutes we heard like you know the sound of a lock decoupling we waited a bit more but there is no movement so we are gonna take the passenger train oh <laughs> my mosquito spray was still here our Bosnian door kind of abandoned not much going on here I'm uh, curious if there will be a bus tonight so uh, we checked the bus schedules online uh, and there is no bus coming whatsoever we're stuck in Chapliana for the night we're in the store now we uh, in a cheap apartment because we really needed to charge our things book something online and we're gonna go there now I'm buying some food I'm gonna cook over there and then go to sleep because uh, I have some sleep to catch up only slept like four hours <laughs> all right so guys I always talked about two republics here in Bosnia but there are actually three you also have a Croatian Republic or like a Croatian side it's like a thin piece of land very close to the border of uh, Croatia where there are a lot of ethnic Croatians living as you can see by the Croatian flag right there you see them everywhere so yeah we're now in the third republic or federation Boy. 
priča koju vrlo rado pričam To je priča o Boži zvanom pupe Jedni ga hvale, drugi žale, treći kaže E moj prale, taj je bio hvaran kao šupalj zub Odavde pa sve do pešte i do srema na jug Još priča bajke o njemu mutni kockarski krug I kažu da ju životu nije igro na dug I svi se slažu kako danas nema takvi kao Božja pup Negde je imao i manje, to se znalo više manje Mada o tom nije pričao ni za leg Trebao je biti veterinar, ali je tero neki inat Pa je žive od kocke ceo vek O taj je pratio karte ko da vidi kroz njih I uvek ladan ko špricer, uvek opasno tih I samo kad tera maler on bi rekao stih I svi još pamte reći koji maler tera boža zvani pum Džaba vam novci, moji sinovci Džaba vam bilo dobre volje I pogledi čosti see a lot of buildings with uh, traces from the war but people already living in it or having a store in it or something but well you also have buildings which never recovered from the war well it makes sense there was some fierce fighting in the town since it's so close to the border of Croatia wow wow yeah it's completely shelled to pieces but I, I have to give it to the builders pretty strong facades everything is gone the entire building is destroyed but yet uh, the front is still standing Here we are in Split, after a bus ride of about four hours. Our bus driver took the routes with no toll stations, so uh, it took us a little longer. It's already quite late, now it's 10. So uh, we're gonna eat something now and then look for a spot to sleep. Maybe walk around the town a bit. It's a very nice town, Split. All right, so we're at the beach right now. So this is all public beach and over there all the private beaches start. And that's just not so nice to just sleep here on the beach. There are gonna be people tomorrow everywhere. But uh, we found this spot, we might actually sleep on the roof of this thing. Acton is gonna check right now if it's sturdy enough and if it is, we have ourselves a nice spot. Alright, so we climbed on the roof and installed ourselves. We have a pretty nice sleeping spot over here. Nice view. Only problem is the sun is gonna come up right there. So once the sun is out, it's gonna be too hot to sleep anymore. But we will still have uh, seven hours of sleep before that happens. We woke up on this beautiful roof right here. I think I woke up around 8. The sun was already pretty hot, but luckily I could move to here in the shade so I could sleep for another half hour. Look at this guys. It's an armored train. <laughs> I never saw this before. It's uh, really interesting. So this train was built in 1992 by the Croatian railways for the purpose of defending the homeland. However, it was never used in the war. They built it just in case the, it escalated again and Croatia would be in war again. But uh, yeah, luckily it didn't come that far. So this train consists out of two wagons and one diesel locomotive. So under these plates is a EMD locomotive, a class 2062 from Yugoslavian times. 
Wow. Cool. As you can see, the driver had very little space to see. Mm -hmm. and could also close the window to be protected against bullet and other projectiles. Yeah, here you can still see the front of the locomotive and the windows sitting under a fortified steel cage. That reminds me of the snow piercer. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so, this is the top, the exhausts of the locomotive. And over there you can see a turret. And over there also, there were turret for 12.7 millimeter machine guns. Yeah, what a creation. So sick. Yeah, and then the gunman can sit in here and shoot from the train. Let's check the wagon out. Oh, pretty spacious. Yeah, the toilet over here. And then these were the benches where uh, military personnel would sit. You also had a hatch right here if they needed to escape. Yeah, very cool. It's funny how often I end my journeys somewhere in the water, in either a lake or a sea, just swimming. Well, I guess it's a nice end point. Yeah, this journey was great. Very happy I got to see some old World War II steam engines still in use. And uh, that I also had the chance to see a lot more of Bosnia. Yeah, I hope you guys like this journey. I certainly did. And as always, until next time. <laughs>